I'm Coyote Peterson, and today we're going to talk about the worst animal bite of my life. And it happened yesterday. Ah, yep. oh, he bit me. Yeah, he got me good. He got my thumb. Let me keep going. Since beginning this journey of bringing wild animal adventures to the world, I have found myself in many dangerous situations. Some of them planned, and that was intense, <laughs> getting swatted at by a grizzly bear. Um, okay, so now we want to get you guys up close with some of Adam's incredible features. Some of them by chance. This turtle just bit the top of my thumb off, big time. And all of them, which I hope serve as both educational entertainment, but also as a lesson into why you should never approach wild animals on your own. And that's just gonna keep bleeding and bleeding. My job is dangerous. I think we can all agree on that. And sometimes, I do push things to the extreme. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! However, anytime we visit a location, like Arizona's Sonoran Desert, we try to be as calculated and safety conscious as we can. Priority number one, guys, is safety. This environment is incredibly hostile, and if the heat doesn't get you, watch your step, because the biological landmines just might. That is so cool. This is the second Gila monster that we've encountered in the Sonoran Desert, and it's a big one. He doesn't want anything to do with us right now. He's just laying low to the sand saying, okay, don't get any closer. And while I have encountered, handled, filmed, and released many dangerous creatures, even I, make mistakes. Yeah, he got me. He bit me. Are you sure? Yeah, he definitely bit me. Let me keep them. Oh, yeah, he got the whole top of my thumb. He got right past the GoPro, and he got the whole top of my thumb. All right. Just stop, stop him, stop him. Well, yesterday I took the worst animal bite I've ever received. It happened right here, and I was bitten by the only venomous lizard in the United States, the Gila monster, and it was bad. Um, here's what happened. We were out here filming B-roll, walking up this wash that's on the back side here, and I spotted a Gila monster, and he was just laying right here along this log. And I said, well, we don't need an episode with the Gila monster, we've already done that, but we wanted to get close and at least get some B-roll shots. Didn't need to catch the lizard, didn't need to handle it. Um, we got some great shots with uh, the C100 camera, and I said, you know what, let me get a couple shots with the GoPro. He's super calm, he's just chilling out. Got close, started doing some sweeping shots over him. I think he felt cornered, I got a little too close, and literally, in a flash, he jerked his body and latched onto my thumb. Immediately, my natural reaction was to pull my thumb back extremely quickly, which I did, um, and that's why I have all these razor blade looking slices on my thumb. I literally yanked my finger out of his mouth. Um, I grabbed onto my finger the moment that I was bitten, and almost immediately, the pain from the venom started surging through my hand. Oh bad? my God, it burns already. It's burning really bad already. Uh, Oh God, uh, he turned and s just spun and I got right past the GoPro and bit my thumb. Now I was extremely fortunate in this situation. After the bite, we consulted with reptile experts and venom experts. Now there's no anti-venom that you can take for a heel monster bite. We monitored my body for hours at a time. Um, we made sure that my heart rate was low. We, we monitored the swelling. We took photographs, as you'll see some of the photographs here, um, as the hours went by. The pain was so excruciating, I really just had to go into a mental state where I told myself, you can make it through this pain. Um, it was the worst pain I had ever experienced, the throbbing, um, the squirming of my body, and of course the constant fear that is this only going to get worse because as the venom started traveling up my arm into my shoulder, I didn't know at what point it was going to stop. And that's when I really started to get nervous. And it was really mind over matter at that point. Um, the fact that I didn't go into any sort of anaphylactic shock, I knew that I was gonna be okay. It was just a matter of toughing through the pain, which was, 
kind of like they explain, hot lava coursing through your veins. It's been 24 hours and I feel extremely fortunate to only have a swollen and sore thumb right now. Anytime you're bitten by an animal, venomous or non-venomous, make sure that you seek medical attention. This was not the Gila Monster's fault in any way whatsoever. I got too close. So hopefully there's a good lesson that comes away from this. Gila Monsters are not an animal that you should ever go out and try to handle. If you see one in the wild, take a photograph from a safe distance. Give it five feet, zoom in with your lens, and take a photograph like that. I learned the hard way and I know from here on out I'm certainly going to give Gila Monsters the space that they deserve. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out the time I was chomped by an alligator lizard. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. They're called alligator lizards for a reason. Ah. Ow, ow, ow.